一百六十九，海峡时报，新加坡 ，Seas and f o r g o j e t a l y r i c Opera Management， 二零一五年七月十四日 ，Life Action and Under Arts Correspondent Pub Date。The general manager of the Singapore Lyric Opera, M. Ng Suen, stepped down on July 8 after 91 years in the role. Her resignation to pursue a second master's degree was long intended, but comes even as the Lyric Opera is scaling down its output from two major operas a year to just one and undergoing an internal review of its operations and directions. I don't know what the Lyric Opera would have been without her, says its chairman Tan Wang Chiang. A lawyer from Lo Yap Tan Kap Noon. We had the benefit of her service for sub years, and we are very grateful for that. We wish her well. He adds that the search for Am Sung's replacement is ongoing. A member of the board of directors, M R Anthony Tan, has been appointed interim general manager and executive director to review the troupe's operations and directions. M R and said all planned and scheduled programs for the rest of the year will continue, including September's double operatic bill of Pulcinet's Johnny and Leon Cavallo's Pagliacci and the annual gala concert, which this November celebrates the troupe's 25th anniversary. A veteran with more than some seven years of arts administration experience under her belt, M M, who is looks up and single. Says she is not retiring, but is pursuing a master's degree in human resource management from Murdoch University via Kaplan, Singapore, while seeking other opportunities. She also has a master's in marketing management via a correspondence course at the Macquarie University in Australia, and did a diploma from the Chartered Institute of Marketing in Britain in the Yatinggo Park, Basapes. The eldest of seven children. She worked various jobs, including as a sales general in Metro Department Store and on the factory floor or lighting business. Philip Singapore before finding her fit as an arts administrator with the newborn Singapore Symphony Orchestra in Yatinggo Batu Sabgo. After subsequent years handling the orchestra's publicity, marketing, and promotions, she moved to the Singapore Dance Theatre as company manager there for sub some years. She started the troupe's now trademark ballet under the stars program of dance in the outdoors in Yatin Go Bag Go Sub and saw the tour extensively in the United States and Europe. Such cups earned her reputation as a go getter among other arts administrators such as theatre works managing director Tai Tong, who would use her as a sounding board to exchange information, tease out ideas, and talk about mutual challenges, from human resource to funding. At the Lyric Opera, Ms. Ng introduced its free outdoor concert series, Opera in the Park, in Yi Tin Ling Bat. Ta helped demystify opera and bring its melodies to a wider audience. Two years ago, the troupe also experimented with staging a Singaporean opera, Pursuant, helmed by comedian and director Jonathan Lim and composed by rising star Chen Hang Yi. However. The lyric opera has been under pressure to reduce its output as it becomes harder to find donors and sponsors for its operas. It stitched Valtis La Traviata and the Mozart comedy Cursi Fantot in the Yi Tin Ling Yi Sub Sum Yi Tin Ling Yi Sub Se season. For example, last season it stitched Let Has the Merry Widow in October, and this season will be presenting an operatic double bill in September. Its operating budget, according to its website, is about May Yunyap Tim Pat million a year. Last year, it received a major grant of May Yun Sam Sat Yi Man from the National Arts Council. However, M Sun says the cost of producing one opera alone is up to May Yun Tha Sat Man. I love the job, but the financial challenges get harder, she says. It is one reason she believes her season at the Slow has come to an end. I have to put that season behind me and move on," she adds.